welcome back. It's your woman Angela K.O.D. in Ghana. Today we are making assorted fish and beef soup for some neighborhood guys from Berkum. When I, since we've been in Ghana, they've been so much help to us. So I just want to surprise them with this amazing healthy soup with fufu. Come with me and let's do this simple Ghanaian assorted with fufu. But if you're new to this channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela K.O.D. and everyone watching my videos, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Thank you. Come with me and let's go to it. By the way, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so that when I make a video, you'll be the first person to know. Share my videos with your friends and family. Thank you. Let's get into the cooking. So today I have have some guys from Brekum working in our house and I'm going to prepare them for food. They said they want to eat fufu, so I'm going to prepare a big bunch of soup with fufu for them. So we are taking some cassava from the garden, you know. We have a lot of cassava in the garden, so we are not going to buy cassava outside from the market. We are going to take cassava from the garden and we are going to use it to make the fufu. So as you can see, oh, banchina bossa no. Shahasa, ubieni. You and I can come in. Uh, can, can can uh, guys, just have can, a look. Can, look can, at can, 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 can be. This can, can, can. If you know, comment below. <laughs> Before we start the ingredients, I've already started cooking the plantain and the cassava. We are making fufu with plantain and cassava. And you know it's really a lot of because there are nine boys in my house now. So I really need to we need a lot of fufu for them because they need energy because they work so hard. So and it's going to take a lot of time. That's why we started with cooking of the cassava and the plantain because this soup is shabu shabu. We have fufu into the same bread. And for other ingredients, we'll be needing our salted meat here. So we have our cow skin, cow meat, everything, ten sounds and everything in this bowl. And we have some garden eggs, fresh tomato. You know, in Ghana, when we are making live soup, we need a lot of garden eggs. So garden eggs and some fresh tomatoes. We need some fresh mackerel and some okra and some peppers, salt to taste. And then we have blended ginger and garlic. And I have some marrow. Uh, yeah, it's also, it's, and I have some tuna and I have a drink and I have shallots and onions and ginger and some stock cube. So these are the ingredients we are using for the cooking. Very simple one. We start with the salt. You really need to season this. And I'll go ahead and add my blended ginger and garlic. And I'll add one stock cube. See it? And I'll go ahead and chop some shallots. It's very important. And some onions. Get on quietly. You really need to chop some. Good. In Ghana, the onions are so strong, especially the shallots. Just a cool when it is simple. They are so strong. 
cutting it like this here. I don't know because they are biological, biologic, so they are really, really super strong. Oh, and yeah, it's like this. Go ahead and add our chopped onion to the soup, and then we stir everything together. I'm not going to add any water. We are going to use the juices from the meat to do the cook. Yeah. We cook our veggies. Let's check on how our cassava is doing. And the plantain, and which I thought is cooked. Oh, banchina, you threw it. Yeah, God damn it. It's really perfect. It's cooked. So I'll put the fire off, and then we'll drain the water out of it. It's always important. With fufu, when you cook it after it's cooked, you really have to take the water out of it. You really have to be cautious. It's very, very hot. We'll go ahead and add some water to our soup. We'll cover it with cane. Veggie. It's not cooked. We still need it to cook. It's not cooked. Still need some time. Let me start for as we all know, for food, life sweet, but we are catechated there. And you could my papa be near the aircon just to make it easy for you to swallow. And to the two one, my mom, no one, man. And the phone you could want there. And we are for food, we are for food, we say there. And no one, and you could man aircon. Any Our veggies are ready. So I'll go ahead and pour the water in the soup. I'm doing that because when the water is so hot, like boil like this, when you put this water in your blender, sometimes that is your blender. So I always prefer to put the water from the veggies. In my soup, and then I'll add, I'll just go ahead and add cold water to the veggies and blend it. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, it's been one year since we, we, we used this mortar and pistol. We're drilling one man one year. So we really need to get this pistol really moist. So I will fully good. So I'll go ahead and wash it 15 or 20 minutes before we make our fire. I'm going to leave this water in the mortar because I really want the mortar also to absorb a little bit of water because it's been one year since we use it. And I'll wash this one also very good. And when I'm done, I'll just leave it in the water. I'll leave it in this water, like this water. I'll leave it in for it to absorb a lot of water. So after 15 minutes, it will be ready. So anytime you leave your pistol in your water, you come back. It's not something I would I remember the first time I threw it away, my mother said, no, it's not necessary. I only have to put it in water for the pistol to absorb a lot of water then to be new again for you to use so we are going to leave it in the water for 15 minutes and we'll come back and pound our food see you we'll go ahead and add our blended veggies to the soup i'm going to wash the blender with some water my tuna this is my tuna and samarium i don't know the english name but they look like little small salmon but they call it meryl here in ghana and i'll add my tuna and also the fresh mackerel i'm going to add the uh, the mud fair, the 
dehydrator because that one doesn't have a lot of strength. So we'll leave it our soup and come back later and check on it. I'll go ahead and add one more stock cube. With the film coil, I'm not going to add anything to mantis. Even with fresh tomatoes, I only use three because I really need a real taste of the garden eggs and the flavors in this soup. So I don't want any tomatoes to empower my soup. Get the film coil and cast <laughs> This is the cassava from the garden, but it's actually when you want when you it's an old one so it's like this you have to remove this one because this part is not good it's really watery and it will not let your fufu come out very good and you really need to get rid of this one like this remove it from the middle uh -huh. see the way i'll bring your fufu no? very good the way you want it perfect fufu so this is the Some of us living in Europe and in America, when you come to Ghana, do you still eat fufu, this type of fufu or you bring your the fufu flour with you? I really want to know. Please comment below and let me know which one you prefer after living in Europe or America for so many years. Do you still like this one or you want to eat the, the one you used to eat in, in the, the flour type? Please comment below and let me know. When the mortar is getting dry, you just dip your hands in some water and you use it around it. So, oh, see me there, I'm home. We need this soup to take it up a little bit, though it's light soup, but we do we want it to. So, we are going to lower the heat and allow. The fish and the salted meat and everything in here to communicate together. And then the soup can take it up a little bit whilst we are preparing our food. I'll go ahead and add my mokushito for more flavors, you know. It's very important for maximum flavors. I'll add some mokushito and I'll go ahead and cover it up. Half way. So they are near my memory and we say half way. Mm? Yeah. The first batch of our fufu is ready. Batch of our fufu is ready. It's really ready. So, this is for the mic. The guys, oh, this is their first batch. It's a nipple crown. They are really energetic. You know, fufu number two, baby. We have done with the pounding of the fufu. So as you can see, that's a lot. Also here, and another one here. <laughs> Our soup is ready, guys. Just have a look. So go ahead and serve it. Soup is ready. So we are going to serve it on our fufu. Let's go. So go ahead and serve our fufu. 
we'll dig in and say. So this is for the boys. So as you can see. Yeah, it's just clean honey, my hands are washing clean. Just <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for coming with me to make this delicious healthy meal. But if you're new to this channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers and everyone watching my videos, this kiss is for you. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so that when I make a video, you'll be the first person to know. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye from Ghana. Bye-bye. Do it.